We're here at CyberScoop's Zero Trust Summit with Gary Davis, Chief Cybersecurity Advocate at BlackBerry. Gary, thank you so much for joining us. It's an absolute pleasure. Pleasure to be here. So let me start by asking, how is OMB's Zero Trust requirements for agencies to adopt things like enterprise-wide identity and access management and multi-factor authentication, how, how has that impacted the government contractor community and firms like BlackBerry? Sure, you know, I think for a lot of the community, it's a wake-up call. I mean, the government is now saying, this is what you're going to have to do in order to work with us. So you kind of get out, you have to get on the bus and support this. So I think if, if I had to net it out as what the most simplest thing, it was a wake-up call. And I think a lot of the, the people who support the government were thinking, okay, this is actually a good thing, maybe painful as we, as we comply, but it was a good thing in that it, it, it had them go do the thing they all knew they needed to do anyways. And then, what challenges do you see government agencies still facing uh, trying to maintain things like uh, complete inventory of authorized devices and deploy their endpoint detection and response tools effectively? Yeah, that's a great question. I, this is going to be an ongoing challenge for everybody. Think about it. We, I, you go into your new office, you've just been hired by the government, you bring in your favorite picture frame, picture frame, right, that's connected. So I think there's always going to be this, this issue where how do I understand what's truly on my network and what is it talking to you? How do I make sure that it's not doing something nefarious? And that's, that's going to be an ongoing challenge. That's never going to go away. I mean, the whole reason why they're looking at zero trust in general is to help contain those situations where things like rogue devices and, and other things that could, could affect you are being addressed early and, and taken care of. And then, how well equipped would you say federal agencies are today compared to, say, a couple of years ago um, to identify and uh, isolate segments of their enterprise environments uh, if and when they've been comp uh, compromised? Well, I think they're a lot further along than they were. I don't think they're where they need to be yet. I mean, just because of the nature of, of, of network segmentation and how things get spun up and taken down, I think it's, it's a little bit more amorphous than they think it is. So I think it's still a, a very much a work in progress for them. But I would say, you know, two years in, there's been a lot of strides made. You're still seeing a lot of instances where bad things are happening, targeting government agencies. So they still have a ways to go, but we would applaud them on, on the progress they've made thus far. And then lastly, um, and looking ahead, you know, how is OMB's zero trust policies, how's that altering, altering the investment strategy at uh, companies like yours with BlackBerry? Yeah, we're, we're you, know, you, you cannot think about the current way of supporting the environment, whether it be your, your government customers or your commercial customers, without thinking about zero trust. You know, the whole notion of being able to, when I came here, right, I went from my home which had a network, to the airport, to the hotel, to this venue, and at every point, the whole notion of zero trust, no matter what device I'm using, or how I'm choosing to connect, it's verif verifying who I am, it's looking at my connections, to make sure that, that nothing I'm doing is gonna cause my company harm. So yeah, it's, it's the right thing to do for sure, and, and I think, you know, everybody should be getting on board. Terrific. Well, Gary Davis, thank you so much for joining us here at the Zero Trust Summit. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.